Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I didn't do a video on this yesterday, even though I always have such incredible people that send me screenshots to do videos on. And uh, yesterday was no different. My man, Garrett Jason, always is so fantastic, immediately sending me Thronebreaker and Cavalier screenshots of everything. But in this case, it was daily cards. And look, most daily cards this year have been like in the C plus, B to B minus range. And I've bought most of them. I don't know if I'm going to buy this one yet. I'm still on the fence. I gave it a C to C plus, which is the minimum grade for me to consider. And when I give something a C to C plus, I mean it's average to a slightly above average. And depending on your needs, sometimes depends on whether or not you're tempted to get something. I do have... A growing number of seven star shards that if I was to get this of course would make me even closer to my next seven star of course I could spend 50 bucks to get a seven star gambit or a seven star OG Spidey not that there's anything wrong with those champions necessarily but I just wouldn't use them so there's still all gamble in the seven star crystal and then tier 3 alpha and tier 6 basic yes I appreciate those yes I've got say a Tuma that I could take up to rank 4 next as a really good defender who I hate fighting. And the tier 6 class catalyst fragments, 50% of 1 means you're like 1 sixth of the way to taking your next uh, 6 star to rank 4 and that spirit of that because you, or excuse me, to rank 5, not rank 4. Because you need not 1, not 2, but 3 fully formed tier 6 class catalyst. And if you want to take a 7 star to rank 2, you don't need 3 tier six class catalyst you need four so not too enticing for the paragon player but still average speaking of my man garrett jason and his submissions as i pull up his screenshots this is just an example of how stale the game has become cavalier players see tier five basic tier two alpha and even six star shards daily. This is what you would expect a Cavalier daily card to look like in January, but this is not January, this is October. And I truly believe one of the reasons why Kabam is going to be committed in the next month or two to a new progression title is that until you move the goalpost, everything kind of stays in place. And the longer the value of resources that you can get for a small amount of units, especially at the top of the progression list in the rank up uh, space, in the rank up store, the longer that these resources stay, the, the more stale the game becomes and the less likely a stale game is to have its player base spend its hard earned cash on offers that don't change much. I think for Cavalier players at this point, I mean, you don't want them to stay Cavalier, especially if we have a progression title that's new. So why not give them a fully formed tier 5 class catalyst selector for 30 bucks? Is that really breaking the bank? 6 star shards, I think 10,000 is is solid. You know, I think that's awesome. And certainly Cavalier players are going to be tempted by that just because it's harder for them to get 6 star shards than Throne Breakers or certainly Paragon players. But the tier 2 alpha and the tier 5 basic, I'm not saying it's a terrible value, but it's just something that they don't need to spend cash on anymore to get. And that's why if you're Cavalier, you really want the Tier 5 class Catalysts. And it's nice that it's a Selector because for the first few years of being Cavalier, of course, it was just Crystals, not Selectors. But it just feels stale. It feels like something that's recycled. Like, these sum up how stale the game is right now. Speaking of which, we go to the Thronebreaker. Thronebreaker players at this point, obviously, they're looking if they haven't already done the content, and I know Thronebreakers who should be Paragons, but they just haven't completed Act 7, but they have multiple Rank 4 6 stars, and so they have way more than they need to become Thronebreaker. They just haven't cleared the content. But let's just say, hypothetically, you need to take up 3 Rank 3 6 stars. Well, again, you're going to need Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragments, you're going to need Tier 6 Basic, and you're going to need Tier 3 Alpha. And you look at the tier 6 basic and the tier 3 alpha 
for $40, by the way, and you say, you're not even going to give me a fully formed one of each after 30 days, and I need three to take to rank four? Um, what? Really? And I, and I know it's three rank four six stars, by the way. It's been a long day. But for 40 bucks, you're pricing this like it's January. I don't want mean to sound like a broken record, but if a daily card doesn't change between January or October, it's stale. And it's like the opposite of rewarding the player base. It's like saying, hey, remember how inflation's been rampant for the last couple of years? Well, we're just going to inflate your own uh, wallet while deflating your expectations. And that's how I'd sum up these offers. So I'm not saying that you can't strike it rich in the six star Nexus, but after the Caps commissary event, which had a few highs and a lot of lows, this just feels like a weird stale offer. And I, I want to get excited to spend my money on this game. And if something is pro player, especially I will give my credit card a swipe in a heartbeat. But this, this ain't it. This is like Halloween came early and we got tricks instead of treats. And those treats, by the way, are stale tricks.